I will be go going over the loop over node. Let's jump right ahead. So uh, I'm gonna I'm in an 8n right now. I'm gonna click create workflow in the top right button. So uh, we'll start with the first node, which usually is a trigger. Now I have these data, which are seven items. Now imagine a scenario where you want to take each row and do a series of actions on it. What we want is to have a series of action getting made on one on each and every one of those rows. And to do that, we'll go over the loop. So if we say loop here, and you can see loop over items split in batches. So if I click on this, you can see it created two nodes. There is this loop over item. Now, if we double click on it, it, it only has a one. So the number of items to return with, with each call. So it only has one. Okay. And this here says replace me. Basically, this is a dummy uh, node. Okay. So, and here it has loop and it has done. So what this means in, and this goes back. So what this means is the first row goes in, it then goes into this path. It loops, right? It loops, it goes in and it loops over here. And once it's done, it goes to this done thing. Okay. So now we've made this and what this does is it loops over each and every item and checks if the item has certain keywords or not. If it does, it takes it to the, to the, to the next step. If it does, if it doesn't, then it's false. Now, be careful of these loops. So a loop always needs to get back. That's how powerful the loop over items is, okay? I use this very often in my workflows.